Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand spanking new video. How are you doing? As you can see from the things that I am surrounded by today, these are kind of looming though and they kind of stress me out a little bit, but today we are doing something that I keep getting requested to do. We are going to be testing out Easter eggs from cheapest to most expensive and trying to see which is the best. Now I'm posting this a few weeks before Easter because that way it gives you enough time to really scan the shops and also to maybe suggest to me if there are any other Easter eggs that are a better option. So we're just gonna get straight into the Easter eggs. We've got most expensive all the way down to the least expensive, £1.50. I feel we start at cheapest and work our way up. So let's start off with this guy, £1.50 little Cadbury's mini egg, happy Easter. The things that we are gonna be ranking on, cost effective, the actual egg itself, and the added extras. Cause for me, I'm more of an added extra girl. I like it when there are lots of little bits and bobs in it. For example, egg number one, one pound 50, great cost, already off to a flying start, especially because you get an, an egg for 90 grams of chocolate and already a dairy milk bar would be about a pound. I also really like, I just like it. I just have warmed to this little guy. I believe they've actually put the mini eggs loose in here. I feel like this is already my winner. What I love about dairy milk is that their Easter eggs are dairy milk and dairy milk, I am gonna say it, is the best chocolate. There's no denying it. I'm trying to like break this in half. Can I do it? Oh my goodness. So this is, this is what we got from the mini egg one. We got approximately one, two, three, four, five, six mini eggs. I have to say, I think mini eggs are in my top five chocolates of all time. Even the smell. If you could make a perfume in the smell of mini eggs, I think I'd wear it. I will say it's a slight letdown that there's only six. I was hoping for maybe 10. I feel like I've been had. And also in the picture, there's seven in that picture. I've only got six. So lying, I could sue on that front, but I do love a mini egg. Mmm, this is my first mini egg of the year. I feel like we love mini eggs. And let's try a little bit of the chocolate. Beautiful, stunning. Just a good old dairy milk egg. I feel like if it were my Easter, I would probably want either a mini egg or a cream egg Easter egg, but we haven't gone into any of the others, so we might be swayed otherwise. So all in all, I'm actually saying a pretty solid eight out of 10. Egg, nine out of 10. It had a design on it, good even distribution of chocolate, no big chunks, no little chunks. It had a cute little design, dairy milk, absolutely delicious. And inclusions where we get a little bit probably give it a five out of 10 because at the end of the day, quite sad really, isn't it? Six mini eggs. But then cost, right back up. We're getting a 10 out of 10 for that. 10 out of 10. Okay, up next, we're moving on to the Reese's egg. Now the Reese's egg was £3.50. And if we were going on design, lackluster. I don't like the design of this at all. What are we getting? Drum roll, please. Sad. What a sad little life, Jane. I quite like that it's a gold, wrapped in gold. You get your Reese's cups, but I kind of feel like it should be at least Easter themed, like Easter shaped ones or something. And I've seen they have Easter shaped ones before. Little bit disappointing, but at the same time, it's a Reese's cup. How can you be sad? We're going for the egg. Gosh, I feel like cost factor for this one is giving not good value for money because these are what, 60p and then you're getting a chocolate egg. Looks like a classic one. Why do they have this like higgledy swiggledy design on it? Can I break this in half? I will get one today where I snap it straight in half. <sighs> Come on. Oh gosh, whoopsie. Okay. No, it tastes like advent calendar chocolate, which serves a purpose during advent calendar but does not serve a purpose for Easter. Because I feel like with Easter, you're getting good quality chocolate from other things. You're getting your cream eggs, you're getting your mini eggs. Maybe you're getting a lint. So if you were faced with that, not good. If I were to receive that, I'd melt it and I'd put it in a rocky road. Just saying. So overall, inclusion was good. Two Reese's, but I feel like even three 
I feel like the Reese's, they've had me and I'm not happy. I'm not best pleased with them. They're an overall four out of 10. Sorry, I said it. I said what I said. Now we move on to Terry's chocolate, which was the same exact price point as our Reese's one. And I'm really intrigued. Design on this one is much, much better. Also a little bit punny. Some bunnies looking forward to Easter. Yes, yes we are. Have a hoppy Easter. <laughs> Now I'm really intrigued if this egg is gonna taste chocolate orange or not. I feel like it will be bonus, bonus points for chocolate orange. Good inclusion. We get a whole bag of chocolate orange eggs, which I feel like that is a really solid inclusion we're getting there. It looks exactly the same, but I think this might be chocolate orange. I love chocolate orange. Okay, that one, that one wasn't so bad. That, is delicious. Oh my goodness, it literally tastes like Terry chocolate orange. Sorry, well done Terry chocolate orange because that is what we want. I was dubious because a lot of these eggs, they could add something fun. They could work with their strong suit. I kind of feel like this could have mini eggs in the crumb structure, but it doesn't. Whereas that, I feel to give this one a 10 out of 10. And the only reason I'm not is because I don't know what's to come. £3.25, this is normally like £1.25 itself, and then you're getting a whole chocolate egg. I feel that's good. And it's even got a two and a from section. I love you, Terry's Chocolate Orange. You've done a, you've done great work. Great work here. The Thornton's eggs have always piqued my interest. I've never partaken in a Thornton's egg before. This is £4.50. I've heard some bad things about the Thornton's egg, that they actually don't taste very good at all. They're kind of like chocolate coin tasting. This one is the white chocolate bunny Easter egg. It's okay packaging. It's very Easter on brand. Exactly what it says on the tin. Actually really stunning, really shiny. That's really beautiful egg. I don't think there's any inclusion. I think it's literally the egg and that is a swizz for money because that was £4.50 and all we're getting is egg. Are you joking me? No, nope. every time. Will I get one? Who knows? Who flipping knows? Let's try. It's white chocolate at the end of the day. Tastes like Milky Bar Kid chocolate. Not bad, not good. Actually quite bad. <laughs> that one is worse than the Reese's. And it was £4.50. I just feel like that's a Swiss. I feel like they're having us on. Where's my little extra? Where's like a net bag of, like just a little bag of Easter eggs in there. That's my least favorite so far. That one is going bottom bottom of the pile, all right? Now we're moving on up yet again, and we're going to the Kinder Surprise. This is six pounds, which is quite expensive. Apparently we're getting a present in this, like a little toy. So I'm quite excited for that. Nothing about this is screaming Easter at all. So I feel like packaging wise, we could experience more. This is a Swiss. You only get this little egg. Not happy. I feel like companies need to up the egg ante but I do love Kinder Chocolate, I really do. Whichever one I break equally in half, I feel like should automatically be the winner. Oh, <laughs> well, I never. <laughs> that, if this actually tastes like proper Kinder. Mm. Why is Kinder so good? Mm -mm -mm. What have we here, what have we here? Oh gosh, this is really proving some technical difficulty. Mm. Oh, what have we got? I love Kinder Eggs and they also bring me back to my childhood because if my dad had gone away or something, he'd always buy us a Kinder Egg and the joy that would come coursing through my veins was always a great time. It's Minions. Okay, let's assemble this guy. Oh gosh, this is really, how are kids doing this? How the heck am I supposed to do this? Oh. Right, and then you put him on the table. This ain't working. <laughs> Something's not right here. Well, he can just chill there. He's not causing any harm, is he? Okay, we obviously get a massive point because I actually was able to break it straight in half. And you get a little toy, which I feel like is something that lasts instead of chocolate, which you just eat and disappears. So for kids, that's a massive, massive win. The chocolate was good, but I do feel like a bit expensive for what it is. And then you're getting a toy. I don't know, I'm kind of mixed on the Kinder Surprise. I think I'd give it a six. No, 
seven because I did break it in half and I said that would be the automatic winner, didn't I? I did say that and I have to be a woman of my word. Moving on up, we have got the No Mo Creamy Choc egg and mini bars. This is the vegan option for allergy sufferers and I thought I would have to put it in there. So this was £6.50, obviously 50p more than the Kinder Egg. I want more from people's packaging to kind of give Easter, like I want a chick running around or something like that. Wow, first of all, love the blue. This is great. This is so much bang for your buck. Considering normally allergy chocolate and vegan chocolate is normally so expensive, I feel like this is really good. You get a caramel chocolate bar, you get a mint chocolate bar, you get a caramel sea salt, you get a choc orange cunt. This is such good value for money. So the inclusions, 10 out of 10. Also, stunning design. There's like little droplets on it. That is gorgeous. And it looks really well tempered. I feel like this is gonna just crack. Yep. Yep. Why am I surprised every time when it does that? Hmm. Oh, when you've just gone from tasting really nice milky chocolate to having that, there's quite a stark difference. But when I used to be dairy free, this was a safe haven for me. And I feel like the egg's beautiful, the little inclusion bars are great. And it does mean that people don't have to miss out. And it's blue. And I could eat this, it's just not as good as Cadbury's. Do you know what I mean? You know the difference. That one for me will get an eight out of 10. I wouldn't probably obviously buy it for myself, but if I knew an allergy sufferer, I feel I could buy that with confidence. I feel like I'd buy that and be like, that's a great Easter egg for them. 12 pounds was our next Easter egg. Can you try and guess what it was? I didn't give you long enough to guess, did I? It is the Lint Lindor egg. This is like a bougie one. I don't think parents are getting these for their kids because it's expensive and it is bougie. <gasps> wow. I mean, it's screaming luxury. Also, it's very much on brand. However, again, where's Easter? This is kind of giving Christmas to me. I'm just gonna tear into it. So you get a whole box of truffles. There's actually a lot of truffles in there. Inclusions are good. Well, they would been better be for a 12 pound Easter egg. <gasps> oh, chic, stunning. Literally smells divine. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That is so crisp. Mm, did you hear that? That's a banging Easter egg. Mm. I think that's my favorite egg today. That's a nine out of 10, that egg. Guys, this one's pretty good. I mean, obviously it's 12 pounds and egg wise, it is bigger than the other ones we've had. I'm torn. I feel like I wish I could read your comments in real time. Because whenever I do this, like when I went to the Shard the other week, in the moment, I say my comments and my thoughts. And then afterwards, when everyone was like, Grace, what about this, what about this? I'm like, such a valid point. I hadn't considered that. And then it changes my whole perspective. This is why it's good to talk to people. Because sometimes you've just got to have a conversation, you know? So what do you think? What do you think this should be? It, it is expensive, but then the quality of the chocolate is like beautiful. It literally tastes stunning. I'm gonna leave that one open to the floor and you guys can tell me what you think. But up next, we have this guy, which is the Mini Eggs Inclusion Ultimate Egg. So this is for someone special in your life who loves mini eggs. Okay, first off, strong start. Whole pack of mini eggs. I would blimmin' hope so with the price that we're paying for old Cadbury's. <gasps> this is a real, real good and Look how big this egg is. £12.50, I'm trying to work out how I feel. When you think you could get like a meal at Nando's for the same price, as, like you could just go and buy 10 bags of these and I feel like I'd be happier if I had 10 bags than this egg. You know what I mean? Although it's, it is beautiful. That is gorgeous, there's no denying that. I can't get in there. Oh, wow. That is a thick boy. It says it's mini eggs in it, but I can tell they're not mini eggs. They're like mini Smarties. So is that gonna taste like a mini egg or not? Let's give it a whirl. As good as that is, the lint one, flavor-wise, tops it. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of still banging. I'm finding it's ever so hard. I don't know how the judges on X Factor do it. When you know they're not good, I'm happy to make that sort of a claim. 
But when it's like, it's good, but there's nothing tearing it down and there's nothing setting it apart. I feel like the lint one is better than that. I'd rather have 10 of these, personally, than one of those. Interesting. We have three eggs left. Try and guess the next one we're going for. It's 16 pounds. Ferrera Rocher. Ferrera Rocher, 16 pounds, you know? That's quite a lot of money, isn't it? But what I really like is that the actual egg is a Ferrera Rocher egg. My sister requested this one year for hers. Oh gosh, is that it? No, they're having a laugh. Inclusion wise, six Ferrera Rochers. I thought that's a little bit of a rip off, but then Ferrera Rochers are expensive, aren't they? You really can tell the difference in the feel of that foil. <laughs> that is real, real luxurious, that. That is gorgeous. Wow, it's so pretty. It's got the little nuts peeking through. That is a beaut, that's the best one. I think I'm saying that every time now, aren't I? I'm getting, um, I really found the rhythm of how to crack my egg open. Okay, let's give it a go. Exquisite. Oh, flip me. That egg is the best. No, it is. It literally tasted like a Ferrero Rocher egg. Oh my goodness. This is hard. This is really hard. Inclusion wise, pants, but tiny touches of Easter. Are we seeing that? And the egg has superseded all the other eggs. That's the best egg by far. I'm not even batting an eyelid. No eyelids are being bat. You see that? I'm staring right at you because I know in my call that is the best egg of them all so far. 16 quid though. Now we're jumping up in price. It's kind of weird. There's almost no middle ground. It's like you go from about 20, 25 pounds suddenly to 60. This egg is called Cremino. You can't even find this in a supermarket. This is really expensive. I wanna get the exact price. This was 62 pounds for an Easter egg. Like, you could actually probably get a meal for a family of four. 65 pound, couldn't you, at a restaurant? I am so intrigued. <gasps> wow. It comes in a big plastic dome. The d Guys, I'm gonna say it now. I don't think that this guy inclusions in it. Gosh, it feels like a real chicken's gonna pop out of this. That is heavy, but no inclusions for that cost. Like you could chuck in a little something something, couldn't you? Right. Oh, that was, oh! It's kind of giving giant kinder surprise. I've never tried this chocolate before. It's really thick. Don't like it. I feel like it's trying to be Ferrero Rocher, but it does melt in the mouth, actually. That does taste pretty good. It's kind of like nutella -y, but not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. If you're gonna invest in an Easter egg, go for the Ferrero Rocher, because I think the Ferrero Rocher tastes better than that. That's too melty. It's claggy in the mouth, and there's no inclusion. No, that's, I'm sorry, not worth it. Absolutely not worth it. So far, before we get to the most expensive egg, there are three that I would go for I'm still coming back to the cheapest one because I just think one pound 50, you get the little mini eggs in it, you get a whole Easter egg, gives you everything you need. Also, keep coming back to the Terry's chocolate orange because it's a Terry's chocolate orange egg, which I feel like so many companies miss out on. And then good old Ferrera. That's what I'd say so far, they're my top three. So I think for the last one, you might want to hold your breath because this one was 85 pounds. It was the most expensive one I could find. Well, actually, that's a lie. There are some other most expensive ones. I couldn't find them to buy, they were sold out. There was one that Fortnum's do that's hand painted. I think it was like 150. Insane. This one is from Hotel Chocolat. This is the Ostrich Egg Classic. Extra thick egg. I haven't actually looked at what's inside it because I really want a surprise and I'm blimmin' hoping there are some inclusions. I have to say, the box is stunning. I feel like I could have this box for years and years. <gasps> the way that popped off, oh my goodness. This is beautiful. There is no denying. Oh gosh, I don't even have to break it myself. Kind of sad about that though. That is huge. Isn't that huge? The paper again. Are you seeing how thick this is? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. I think this is some sort of like nutty. Is that, that looks nutty to me. Can you see the thickness on that? 
And then what's this one? Because I'm getting the vibe that they're two different ones if they're not glued together. <gasps> We've got a breakage. We've actually got our first breakage of the whole thing. That is so sad. What's this one then? Puffed rice and little chocolate chips. I think this might be like a rocky road. Should I give it a go? Oh. Mm. Okay, that is great. You know what? They're good at what they do. Also, I always feel a bit gross when I say the word Hotel Chocolat. I always feel like, you know when English people try and say foreign words, and it's like, I feel like I should just say Hotel Chocolate because I feel too pretentious. But then I feel like when I say that, oh. Guys, my camera died right at the wrong time. I was right in the midst of it and it's just not coming back on. So I really hope we still have the footage. We're gonna have to go for the phone, I apologize. But, is this metal? It's metal. Oh my goodness, it's a metal tin. This Venice Venci company could learn a thing or two because all this came in, there was no inclusion and it was a cardboard box. Whereas this is actually a metal tin. And what have we got in it? Oh, this, see, this is what I expect. This is what I really think is a luxury product. We've even got another, it's another metal tin. You can store a nice cake in that, gorgeous. What is it? Oh, okay, so the, it's half 40% with cookies and puff rice and half 50% with wafers, over a kilo of chocolate. And then what have we got here? We've got a little, a little box of some more chocolates. We've got some little Easter themed ones. Look at that. Oh my gosh, that is so flipping cute. Little Easter egg, guys. I probably wouldn't buy this ever again because it is just too lavish and too over the top. But equally, if I knew someone who was a ride or die Hotel Chocolat lover and they deserve to be treated and they were going through a rough time, I would 100% invest in this because the quality, like this feels like a luxury product. But then there is a lot of bang for your buck. You're getting one kilo of chocolate, one whole kilo. I'm really torn again. Oh, I am. I feel like that's such, yeah, it was expensive, but what you're actually getting for it, it's a real, there's a lot here. Does it overtake my love of the three other eggs? I feel like it's gonna sit with them. I feel like it has its place. I feel like, yeah, it's not the same, but I feel like it still belongs. It belongs in the army of the other three. That feels like a real encounter, that egg. The fact that it's got this metal tin and another metal tin and a whole box of chocolates. I really like it, I do. I, I This is, again, it's gone over my expectations. I did not think that that was gonna be that good. I feel like the winner has to either be the cheapest or the most expensive. The most expensive if you're looking for something to wow because of everything that you get. But then the cheapest just does a solid job. Like it does exactly what you want on the tin. And I feel like all the ones in between, although the cherry chocolate orange one still has a special place in my heart. But yeah, I think that's where I'm, that's where I'm at. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts down below and what Easter egg you would want out of the ones I tried. And let me know what the best Easter egg you've ever had is because probably, Actually, this might be it. This might be the best Easter egg I've ever, I suddenly feel really, really connected to this. I don't know if it's the tin. I don't know how it's one kilo of chocolate. I love it. I literally love it. Peace out punks. Love you all so much. Bye.